what's new and different about Milton Daniel Hall? Just about everything. Um, the only thing that was saved were structural support beams. So the first, I think, most obvious noticeable new thing here is the amount of light in this great hall and what amounts to a very um, rich look about it. The wood accent, wood ceilings, the high vaulted ceiling and the, the additional uh, part of the great hall. Um, all for students uh, to use, honor students for anything from uh, a formal gathering or lecture to just informal uh, group study or, or lounge space. Uh, and this being the very first thing that's, that people see when they come in, I think they'll get a sense that this is a, just a very, I almost want to use the word majestic type of place for them to be living. There are 300 students who will call Milton home in the fall of 2010. And of those 300, 240 will be freshmen, 60 will be upperclassmen. The upperclassmen will live on the third floor only and the freshmen on the ground level first and second floors. I think when we thought about it, one of the first meetings we had with honors, we focused on uh, the common areas and the study lounges the, and the overall atmosphere. I think that the study lounges that we created, both in terms of their location, their size, are going to really lend themselves well to things like group study uh, and quiet study as well, which is important uh, for all students, but especially for the honor students. And then we have these larger places like this great hall and the fireplace lounge, we'll call it on the third floor, where you might find a faculty member or chancellor or someone who's going to come in and visit with students and have, you know, it's a smaller, uh, intimate setting for a program versus the blue or an auditorium, and it's right here where they live. So I think that'll be very appealing to students.